Tony, and today I'll be showing you a few of the paths and modules I've taken in my trailhead learning experience that I find to be very interesting and relatable to what I'm studying in school and very helpful for what I want to do as a career path once I'm finished my post-secondary career. Okay, so for roles and responsibilities for the marketing team, uh, this is one of the first modules I took when I began my learning journey on Trailhead. Uh, I am a person who kind of likes to do everything and my mind isn't really made up of where I want to go in the marketing industry, although I am swaying more so for content creation management. Um, you know, this module really helped to expand my horizons on what other roles there are in the marketing industry. I also found this very helpful in deciding which courses I could take for my last year in the marketing program, um, just to kind of give myself a little bit of an edge over other peers and competitors um, looking to apply for the same jobs as me. So for the marketing cloud, it is quite unique to Salesforce alone and is kind of described as another CRM system. Um, the Marketing Cloud basically enables you to deliver personalized customer engagement at scale in every channel. Um, and you know, learning about CRM in person over and over again throughout the course of my career here at NEAT has been really important as this is a big key tool used in the industry to stay engaged with your customers and understand what they're looking for and overall how to improve your business for that customer or even just seeing how they've changed throughout the years and what their new patterns are and everything like that. Um, so anything to do with the marketing cloud modules is really, really beneficial, I found, um, to my studies here at Nate and for the industry as well. I would definitely recommend going through these ones just to get a deeper understanding of what CRM is as we're only taught so much in class. This definitely gives a little bit more in-depth detail as to, you know, the behaviors and purchase patterns um, of your customers and really, really trying to get to engagement with them. All right. So the consumer journey, um, I found to be very interesting in my studies here at Nate already. And I really want to see what else there is to know about the consumer journey throughout or throughout my learning process in Trailhead. Um, and for me, I just find it wild how marketers can pinpoint the exact moment a consumer has stopped looking, um, what they were doing at a certain time in their process, anything like that. It's wild how much information you can collect on someone. Um, but it was quite interesting to see how you can configure certain things in that consumer's journey to find better success for yourself and make the purchase decision for them a little bit easier. Uh, one of the things I want to touch on is the behavioral triggers that I learned about in one of the modules and I don't think I've quite learned this in class, but I mean we all have gotten emails from Amazon if you shop there um, When you've left something in the cart or you've recently viewed something, they'll send you an email a couple hours later or so Just to give you a reminder and re-engage you saying hey, you forgot this in your cart, come Come purchase it basically or come look at more um, similar like it. So I, th I just thought that was something new that I haven't yet heard in class and makes me understand the reason why I'm getting so many emails um, and yeah, just the consumer journey I find is really interesting and especially as a marketer getting all that data from multiple, multiple journey paths taken as well. So to make up a few extra points on Trailhead and to expand my learning on this platform, I took a few other smaller modules that I found to be quite interesting and relatable to not only my studies here, um, the job industry that I'm hoping to get into, but also just the future of business and sales and, and society. Um, so a few of the modules were Web3, the future of the internet, social selling, marketing content creation, and how artificial intelligence can help your business. Um, I gravitated a lot towards the artificial intelligence module just because I've, we've learned so much about it. Well, I have learned so much about it in my classes here. Um, mostly just like the smaller ones like ChatGPT, Dolly, um, 
um, and how they can help create tweets, uh, newsletters, posts, emails, anything like that. Uh, any kind of content creation a marketer may do. Um, now I know instructors don't like the use of chat GPT on assignments. Um, I do still find that understanding how to ask the right questions and how to use this software is really important for students as they venture off into the business industry. Um, I myself know a few marketers in the industry who have used ChatGPT and maybe just for fun, sometimes send out a tweet or something like that. But, you know, we are in the fourth industrial revolution and AI is a huge development of this kind of, of this revolution. Um, for those of you that don't know what the fourth industrial revolution is, it's for me how I understand it, the way we as society have taken um, innovations and you know, just exploded them into something useful for all society and advanced the human race, basically. Um, now, one of the things that really intrigued me about AI was Elon Musk and the other co-founder of Apple. Um, they, Elon Musk made a statement saying the race to develop AI systems is out of control and he's asked for a halt on it. Um, which can be a little scary because, you know, the fact that Android's taking over the world isn't all too hypothetical, um, seeing how humans can never stop with their innovations. Um, that could be the fifth industrial revolution, you never know. Um, but yeah, AI is just something I find really useful for everyone as long as it's developed properly and, you know, doesn't fall into the wrong hands. That's my spiel on my trailhead learning experience and a few of the modules I would recommend to anyone um, wanting to expand their you know, knowledge and get a little bit more information about their industry, um, their role, everything like that. Um, so yeah, just want to thank you for listening in and hope you all have a great day.